everybody, my name is Jeremy, and welcome back to Coffee Talk Episode 2. Hibiscus and Butterfly, let's get into the game here. Um, when I have left off, so it was like, um... You know what, I don't remember. It's been a busy week. I know you guys enjoyed it. Ghosts, we're talking about ghosts. Uh, alien signs increase. Is this an invasion? At least it's pretty. Researchers respond over alleged algae invasion. And Dwarfira Tech teams up with Gold Mix Industries to produce self-healing concrete technology. Let's start with that. Odd. This. Hey, yeah. Knock, knock. Anyone there? Mr. Bailey's eye. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you come in. How are you tonight? I'm alright. But you look pretty distracted. Penny for your thoughts? Uh, you can have them or free for them for free. This part is the hidden side of things. How different the world is under the surface compared to what we think it is. Nothing and no one is exactly what they appear to be. Funny, I was having similar thoughts on the way here. I thought I was looking at a teddy bear, but I guess I wasn't. I guess now that we spend so much time on social media, people believe we can be summed up in a picture or a sentence. But it's not like that. It's not that easy to know someone. Even if that someone is yourself. Especially if that someone is yourself. <laughs> Sounds like we agree on this. We sure do. It's been on my mind a lot in the past few days. Does that have anything to do with your wedding to Miss Lua? Got it in one. How are things on that front? Uh, years ago, we decided to take some time apart to think. That sounds ominous. No, but mean. But I don't mean like that. It wasn't a breakup or even a break. Ooh. We've been through so much. There's no walking back out on our, on our relationship now. Sometimes you're so together that you lose sight of the big picture, you know? I think I see what you mean. So we decided to give each other a bit of space to figure out what we really want out of our wedding. More importantly, out of our marriage. Let's see. Made any progress on that front? Do you want the short version or the long version? I'm always here for the full story. Alright then, I'm going to tell you everything. But I think I should order first. Sure thing. What can I make you tonight? I'm not feeling fussy. Anything warm would do. So anything, really. Makes sense. What about that? Some herbal tea then? Hibiscus? Butterfly tea? Butterfly pea or hibiscus sounds great. Milk and honey, please. As, as you know, we cheat now. We, we cheat around these parts. Let me... Look. Coffee. Coffee talk. Coffee talk 2 recipe. Sweetheart latte, hibiscus, milk, and honey. Let's do that one. Look at that beautiful, beautiful drink. I think I messed this up a lot. I might have to go back and play this, but yes, we're gonna do some latte. We haven't done any latte art in a while. A lot of milk in there. Yes. Yes. Yep. 
hope you like. Thanks, Jeremy. This is so nice, and it brings me way back. You know how I'm not really in touch with my family anymore? Yes, I'm sorry about that. Don't be, I know you miss them, most of the time. In the end, they're just a random bunch of people. They don't have very much in common. It's good that you've learned about yourself, Mr. Bailey. I think so, too. Just one person I I've been missing her a while now. Uh, so passed away, I'm guessing. Exactly. Spot on again, Jeremy. I used to have a very close relationship with my great-great-aunt. When I was little, my parents fought all the time. I still remember in my bones how that made me feel. The fear that one of them, or both of them, would walk away and abandon me. A bit ironic in hindsight that it was many years ago. It was quite normal for a little child to care about their parents, no matter who they are or how they behave. That's true. Anyway, I spent almost all my evenings curled up into a ball in my room, trying hard not to listen to all the shouting. Except when my grand came to visit. Not that her being around prevented fighting, mind you. Even Elven High Society is amazing at keeping up appearances. Except to her family. She got how it made me feel. So she went out of her way to take the sting out of it. She would keep up to keep me company and bring me a cup of herbal tea. Milk and honey in it. Drinking this now with you. Feeling a lot like family again. Sounds like she was a perceptive person. Surely it was the best of him until she got sick. No, how did that happen? I thought elven, elves don't get sick. Uh, see, that's the part of the elven disinformation. Elves don't get sick with your little run of the new They don't get big, bad diseases like everyone else. It's not uncommon for us to die from it. Except there's this assumption in elven society that if you live the right sort of life, you'll pass away peacefully in your bed. That's what families say most of the time when someone dies. Incidentally, that also means they need to pretend everything is fine until the very last moment. So that's what they did to my aunt. They basically shut her in the inn during her last few weeks. That's, that's really awful. I did manage to visit her. She put on a brave face. It's clear she wasn't happy. And then she wasn't very happy before that either. At least she had you. It must have been a little consolation, but yes, I'm glad I was able to be with her. Ugh, I think I came very close to being trapped in this world. Pretty sure she would have hated that for me. A little part of me hopes she's proud of me right now. I'm certain she would be. Thanks, Jeremy. Here you are, letting me blab on again. It's more than fun, but you think growing up almost conflict might... Well, do you think growing up among conflict might explain why things are you know, a bit difficult to work out sometimes between you and Lua? I definitely think that's part of it. In fact, good evening, Jeremy. It's silver. And good evening, I'm silver. Nice to meet you, I'm Bailey's. Sorry. I've heard your name before. Alright, I really should have remembered that. I'm very sorry. No biggie, please don't, don't mention it. I know your name from Lua. She told me that she met you here the other night. The other night, yes, I... Uh, um, Silver, are you alright? Not really, no. I came to say goodbye. What? Wait, what? You can speak in front of Mr. Bailey, by the way, if you'd like. He is trustworthy. You no, know, people here always are. But not so outside. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound bitter. Most Earthlings are good. I still believe that. Those who aren't, they can cause a lot of hurt. Has the agent been giving you trouble? That's the same agent who Lua fought with? Yes. And yes. Although trouble is too weak of a word. You found us out. Found what out, Amanda? Amanda, save everything. Fortunately, he hasn't discovered my cafe yet. It's only a matter of time. I've been able to move all the important documents out of it. You can only go 
go up so far. I think I have less than one day left to get away from here. What about Amanda? She's gone back to the hive. There was no way she could stay after that. She might come to Earth again later. It'll take time. She was sorry she couldn't say goodbye, though. I think she really got the hang of some emotions in the end. Faster than I could. Star crossing siblings. Quint Silver made this normal story arc. Okay. Silver. Can I at least get you something to drink? Please. But I don't have a lot of time. It has to be short in the short time. Short, very caffeinated drink. I have a very long night ahead of me. Alright, Silver. Let's see what we got for you. Silver. Bam. There you go. This works. Uh, this is quite. I don't know if I have time to finish this. That's fine. It's still a warm drink in the warm place. I miss this. Huh. I guess because I messed up his other drink earlier. So I don't know. Sorry, right, I know you've been in a rush, but. You have to leave. But the agent was pursuing your sibling. Doesn't make it okay, of course, but she's going back so pursuing every alien entity on Earth. Even though I look like an Earthling now, if you knew I was an alien, it would go pretty bad for me. And of course, there's a save. I'm working hard to help other aliens. You won't like that at all. Ouch. So you go back to the space as well? Uh, no, that's not the plan. I fought too hard to adapt to life here. Find my way to become someone I can rec I can recognize, and even yes, I guess even someone I can be a little proud of. I'm not throwing all that away. Besides, I don't even know if I can revert back to being a neighbor. But more importantly, I don't want to try. I see. I'm really sorry for suggesting that. It's all right. You didn't know. So let me get this straight. You used to be an alien, then you left that life behind. You built a life from scratch as an Earthling. You've been trying to shield other aliens from discrimination. I guess you can I guess that's roughly right. It's really amazing. Is it? I don't know. But now I have to leave it all behind again. Except this time, I don't have anything to look forward to. Just a long, empty road to nowhere. Silver. I haven't asked him out for my opinion, but is it alright if I give it? Right, well, I know our situations aren't comparable at all, but I think we both chose to leave our birth families behind. We're both paying a price for that. Granted, mine is only financial, but not even that bad. I still relate to where you are now. The thing is, there's a reason why you started over in the first place. An imperious person, something you just you had to move away so you can live a life as you. Wherever you end up after all this, it's still what you're really doing. It's not a road to nowhere, it's a new chapter in your life. You can still find a way to live it on your terms. I'm sorry, it must sound like a very poor consolation. No, you're right. It has a very valuable perspective, and I'm thankful for it. I was just thinking, it's the silliest thing. I did manage to go on a date with Pearl in the end. Going really, really well. In fact, I was considering telling her the whole truth about me. I think she's the kind of person who would have understood. Then, the agent found Amanda. She got so spooked I hurt her through whatever hive connection I have left. She, she's managed this fine in the end. She hid from him inside of them. By the time I arrived and left, it was very impressive. She really is. Of course, it was more important than any day. But I can't help thinking that Pearl might have been the person I was looking for. Now I'm probably never going to see her again. I think you're giving up a bit fast. The choice.
choice do I have? I'm not going to ask someone I've just met to leave with me. Considered it, to be honest. Told me would have done it. Knew me knows it's not a fair offer. It's selfish. I agree with that. You don't have to leave without saying goodbye. You thought she was someone you could trust, right? Right. And it might not be too late to tell her what you were going to tell her. What would, what would that change? Who knows? Maybe the agent won't find you now. Maybe he'll settle someplace where he can't reach you. And then it wouldn't be selfish to ask for a visit. There's so much that can happen. And I guess what I'm saying is, there's nothing more earthly than having hope. And if you talk to her, you might give yourself something to hope for. <laughs> guess I better get on it then. Yes, I'll call her and ask her to meet up. Then, whatever happens, I'll go and take the train to a new chapter. Sounds like a plan. And Silver? Yes. This is Silly Elf who comes from a pretentious background. My only real skills are design and drive my fiance crazy. But if there's anything at all that I can do, people I can speak to, letters I can deliver, anyone Lou and I can shelter for a couple of nights, Cow and us. It's not much, but it's everything. It means more than I can ever say. I promise we'll, we'll only reach out if we really need help. But I will tell Save that we can count on you. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Don't mention it. Jeremy, you really are doing an incredible job of bringing people together. Anyone who walks in here becomes a part of your family. Our family. Yes. All, you've also helped me and Lewis so much. More than you can imagine. But anyhow, Silver, have you you have my contact now. Get in touch whenever you need. And I hope we'll meet it here again sometime. Well, I don't think we might. Oh, Jeremy, you haven't vanished yet. That must mean my mission will work out in the end. Right, time to go. Wish me luck. Good luck, Silver. Wish me luck. about his mission and you vanished. It's a bit of a long story. Uh, never mind then. Sounds like I shouldn't cry. Poor Silver though. He's only trying to do the right thing for himself and others. He deserves better. He does. I think he'll get there in the end. He's going a long way towards becoming who he needs to be. I think he's going to keep trying. In the process, he might make a world a little kinder. Yeah, he's definitely got the courage to do that. Anyhow... I know this is completely the wrong mood now. I did come here because I've got pretty big news for you. Oh, big good news. And I can't really wait. There's no point in staying sad and won't help Silver. Gladly listen to your news, Mr. Bailey. Alright then. Jeremy, I'd like to officially invite you to the little surprise set to our little surprise ceremony. Which will take place three days hence. Wow, wait. Let me get this straight. Does this mean... Yep, Lou and I are getting married. It's Bailey's. Congratulations. Let's see why you couldn't wait. I trust you found some answers then. We did. It's taken a little time to think really clear our heads. We've gotten bogged down in the details. And our insecurities, to be honest. So we decided to make it simple again. No fuss, no massive expense. Nothing like that. Just us and our closest family members. Whether we get them at birth or choose them ourselves. I am very touched, Mr. Bailey's. Oh, come on, Jeremy. You know you mean a lot to the two of us, as does this place. Speaking of which, we also have Hyde's invitation here. We're going to take his car for a certain summer. Alright. Well, he might have lose by his way. That, that is the good ending for their story. So I got the good ending for their story. Well, Hyde and God's invitation. See how they end. That's his obvious plus one give it to them when you see them, it would be an honor. Sorry about the emotional roller coaster here. Uh, no, it's really fun. Very happy for you, Miss Lou. Besides, well, it's on brand for this place, isn't it? Much like our drinks, our patrons live, our bittersweet lives are bittersweet. Ha! You should print that and put it in your side. Well, you're right. There's never a dull moment in your cafe, Jerry. I try. Speaking of which, I'd like to hold some party or after party for the wedding here. I know it's not a very large space, but perhaps whether we'd like it, we'd love it. Honestly, I didn't want to impose, but there's no place that could be better for fit. And 
don't mind that it's not very large. It's going to be a small coast wedding, so this is perfect. It's settled then. Ah, Lua's going to be over the moon, I tell her. In fact, I'm going to go tell her right now. Very exciting prospect. It really is. Thanks again, Jeremy. You're like, you're like a guardian angel for us. On that note, I'm off. Good night. More like guardian hive. Good night, Mr. Bailey's. Alright, so I didn't get the good ending for Silver, but I got the good ending for Bailey's and Lua. That's the good thing. Uh, we're going to stop right there. We have one more night left, to my understanding. So we're going to stop right there. We're going to play one more night. I don't know. I mean, you guys can tell me if you want it or not. I don't think I'm going to replay the game to get all the good endings on channel. I might do them myself, because I enjoy the Coffee Talk series. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do them on the channel. Now, if you guys want to see them on the channel, tell me. I'll put them up. We'll go through and just go back through and get all, because we got our good and handy-dandy cheat book here. And we'll go through all of it and tackle it all again, and this time get all the drinks right, because we didn't get the good silver ending, from my understanding. Which doesn't make any sense to me. But I'll explain it later. And then... But we did get Bailey's and Lua because the only way to get the invitation is to get all their drinks right. And we got an invitation. So we're going to end it there. Um, this time I have something to give, so I'm going to guess that I'm going to see uh, Gala and uh, Hyde in the next episode because uh, I've got the invitation. So we'll end it there. Shorter video, I feel like. But we'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, Marvel Snap, you've already seen by now. Maybe Wrestling Sunday. I know I've been kind of putting it off, and I know some of you really like the wrestling stuff. It's been a while. Maybe some wrestling stuff Sunday. So, that being said, I think we got one more episode, or more, depending on what you guys think. If you guys want to see uh, all, like, try to 100% it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time.